Hi everybody, I'm Prophet Belinda Spannenberg and you're watching Prophetic Edge all the way from Cape Town, South Africa. Greetings to all the nations, wherever you're watching from. I'd love to know where you are, uh, which nation you are representing. So please go and like Prophetic Edge International on Facebook and send me a message and let me know which nation you've been watching from today. Because today we are talking about awakening nations and your nations right in the center of that. On set with me today, I have my brother from another mother, a very close friend of mine, Pastor Mark Loretz. You want to greet the people, Mark? Thank you very much, Belinda. Uh, yes, I want to greet everybody, all the nations, uh, all the ministries, people in uh, fivefold ministry. Uh, I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus. I'm so expectant also of the great things that God is preparing for the earth. Uh, and all of us are part of what God wants to do. Um, so let's all be excited and wait with expectation Amen. on what God wants to do. Glory to God. I just sense, you know, Pastor Mark, that God is awakening nations in this time. And you and mm. I, you know, being eagles, we mm. are sensitive of atmospheres. And if you look at what's happening around the world right now, you'll notice that mm. there are governmental shifts that are happening. And we've seen that with the moving presidencies. If you mm. look at Zambia, yes. Zimbabwe, South mm. Africa, the USA and the new presidents, I believe and we believe and we sensitize to the fact mm. that this is signifying a global and a governmental shift mm. in the earth. And, you know, the book uh, of Chronicles teaches us about the Issachar tribe. Mm. And the Bible says that the sons of Issachar could identify identify the yes. shifts in Amen. times and seasons and mm. in these last days we need to be able to tap into the frequency of heaven and identify mm. a shift identify mm. a shift in time a shift yes. in cycle a tif a shift in season mm. and certainly you know the nations of the world are now being positioned globally and governmentally they are being prophetically aligned mm. for the birthing of I believe the greatest awakening that the earth has ever seen mm. and uh, we are excited about that are you sensing Amen. the same thing yes belinda i also sense that um, god is doing something great yes god has got wonderful plans and purposes for the earth mm -hmm. um, i believe that everybody who has the spirit of god within them yes they will sense what god is doing they will tap in and connect with the flow of god's spirit in the earth yes. and uh, we must just be open yes. open-minded open vision uh, really to see what God sees when he looks at the earth mm -hmm. and I believe that all of us has got this wonderful place and yeah. function yeah. that God wants to use us as yeah. instruments in his hands to fulfill Amen. his plans and his purposes for the earth awesome I love that you mm. know in the book of Haggai it speaks about a greater glory mm. and the glory of the latter house shall be greater yes. than the glory of the former house and I want to prophesy to every nation that's watching us and mm. even those that's not we just decree and we come into yes. agreement right now Amen. that the nations are being awakened and yes, that's the glory amen. of God is being released to every nation yes. on the earth right now you know the Jesus. Bible says in Genesis 1 1 that mm. in the beginning the Spirit of the Lord hovered over the face of the deep mm. the Spirit of God has never left the planet come amen. on somebody yes. it's the knowledge of the Spirit of God mm. and we believe that in the season like Daniel said God is unlocking secret things and right now I yes. believe that the amen. Spirit of the Lord is hovering mm. over the face of the deep and mm. I believe that a great awakening is being release greater glory Haggai mm. chapter 2 and the glory of the yes. latter house shall Amen. be greater than the glory of the former awesome. I'm saying that there's a greater glory mm. I'm saying that there's a greater fire I'm saying that there's a greater authority Amen. I'm saying that there's a greater power and yes. it's moving all over the earth right now greater yes. than what you've seen before yes. greater than what you've heard before mm. greater than what you've experienced before mm. and greater than what you can even perceive or understand this Amen. is a global awakening yes. and we are speaking to nations we are sounding the alarm Alarm in the Amen. realm of the spirit the today. Come Jesus. on, somebody. Yes. And we're blowing the spiritual and prophetic shofar mm. and commanding nations, it's your time to arise and shine Amen. for your light has come yes. and the glory of the Lord has yes. risen upon you. Amen. What is God saying to you right now? <laughs> Woo, that is absolutely, the glory yeah, the that is absolutely <laughs> confirmation also yes. of what God uh, opened up in my spirit before uh -huh. I came. Right. As a matter of fact, uh, while I was driving here, yeah. I saw this vision, uh, you know, of a big picture, um, a framed picture that uh, consists of a lot of puzzle pieces. Yeah. And this is God's picture of what He sees for the earth. Yes. And every 
nation and every ministry and every individual with mm -hmm. the calling of God upon their lives, they are a puzzle piece awesome. in the picture of God. Wow. Everyone needs to be authentic Come in on. their callings, in yes. their mandates, in their functions. Yes. And I believe when we all do that and yeah. we all tap in to the glory of God that you are talking about and this picture of what God sees, His vision for the earth will manifest and it will become a, a reality. So I, I also uh, uh, like what you said about the glory of God. Um, if I may, I just want to yes, read this scripture on. quickly because it. it's what God also says, said in my heart. Exactly yes. the scripture, Isaiah 60. Mm. And I want to read it just quickly where it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Yes. So if you just look at that, we're talking about a great awakening. We're come talking on. about awakening. And I believe yes. this is part of it. Uh, it's for us to arise and step into the different functions and callings Come of on. what God has called us to do in Come the on. earth. And it's the glory of the Lord because it says in uh, verse 2 also, Behold, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee yes. and His glory shall be seen upon thee. Hallelujah. You know, Belinda, I believe that, uh, you know, when we talk about miracles, mm -hmm. there has to be conditions ready for a miracle to happen. I believe that. In the, in yes. the one sense, it has to be the worst place that you can find yourself in and that qualifies you for a miracle to take place. So the worst place can actually be the best place yes. in your life as well. And in this scripture, when we see the darkness, the Bible says the darkness covers the earth and deep darkness, the people or the nations yeah. that it's talking about. Yeah. And I believe that deep darkness is like a thick cloud, you know, that you know, if you've heard the expression, uh, people's got their heads in the clouds, right? You know, uh, because of the depression and the stuff that's going on in the earth. Mm -hmm. But he says, Now the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon you. Amen. So, we as believers, as ministers in the kingdom of God, as mm -hmm. ministries, yes. um, we need to get our heads into another cloud, and that's the Ooh, glory cloud of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's where the light of God breaks through the darkness, Come and on. where we can then fulfill the mandate and the purpose purpose of what God has called us, this awakening. I, I believe it's part of this awakening, yes. what God is doing. Glory to God. You know, I'm so excited by what you're saying, Mark, because, yes. um, you know, God just laid this word um, on my heart um, that you you spoke about the fact that you saw this, this vision of this puzzle yes. and um. you saw how every piece of the puzzle fitted together. And, you know, mm. when we just started 2018, the Lord said to me that 2018 is the year of the destiny door. Revelation yes. 4 verse 1. Amen. Come up here and I yes. will show you things to come. Mm. And so there's an invitation to heaven right now, I believe, where God is calling us a little bit higher yes. to our higher dimension mm. and because whatever he wants to unveil mm. uh, and and illuminate in the season exactly. will not be revealed at the yes. lower dimension yeah. you got to come up a little bit higher yes. and you know even as you've said now you saw this puzzle and all mm. of us were a piece of the puzzle i believe that not only mm. are we as individuals and ministries stepping into our divine destiny in 2018 yeah. but Amen. nations yes. are stepping into your Amen. destiny in 2018 Amen. come on south yes. africa you're going to give Awaken. birth to your nation <laughs> america you're going to give birth to yes. your nation. Europe, you're going to give birth to your nation. Zimbabwe, Kenya, Nigeria, Amen. Reba, 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 Sheke, yes. Australia, All you're going to give birth to your destiny yes. in 2018 as Amen. God is positioning you to come up higher. The Amen. Lord just began to tell me yes. that, you know, the, in this year you spoke about how all of us form part of this awesome kingdom puzzle. Yeah. And I see it as many streams. Mm. You know, you carry a stream of God and yes. I carry a stream yes. of God. And yes. all of these streams come together into mm. one mighty rushing river. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. And the Praise fullness God. of His glory yes. is made manifest. Yes. And I just want to read a little scripture in uh, Revelation 22, which speaks about the river of life. Mm. And it says, Then the angel showed me a river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from mm. the the throne of God Amen. and the Lamb and through the middle of the street of the city also on either side of that river the tree of life mm. with its 12 kinds there we go Amen. the governmental again <laughs> yes. with its 12 kinds of fruits yielding its fruit each month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation glory yes. to God Praise and God. the Lord just began to say mm. to me that this is the year for nations to mm. awaken mm. we as ministries God's busy 
busy. He's busy connecting divine Amen. alliances, yes. divine alignments, yes. and tribes that need to come together, mm. uh, streams that have to come together so mm. that that river of life can be released from the throne Absolutely. of God. Glory to God. Yes. I also just sense that, you know, the prophetic significance of the trees, because the Father said to me, in this year, I'm inviting my people to jump into yes. the river Amen. of my glory, yes. because everything we need is found in the river of the glory That's of true. God, which exactly. comes directly from yes. His throne. Yes. And the trees are so significant to mm. me, because the Bible says that it's positioned to bring healing Amen. to the nations. Yes. And when we find ourselves in the river, we are surrounded by the trees mm. and the sources of what we need to mm. bring the healing to the nations, exactly. uh, Pastor Mark. Yes. And I just believe that in this time, people like you, people like me, people all over the world, that mm. God is divinely aligning mm. a people who's not about me and mine, but a people yes. who have a kingdom culture Amen. and a kingdom Amen. mindset. And we are hungry to see mm. the glory of God released yes. in the earth. Over to you. Amen. I absolutely agree. <laughs> it's, uh, it's as if you're speaking my mind. Um, <laughs> Yes, Belinda, yeah. uh, absolutely. You know, when you look at that uh, picture again of yes. the puzzle pieces, every puzzle piece is connected to other pieces as well. Awesome. So, uh, you know, I believe that what God wants to do in the earth, we can never ever do it on our own. Yes. We cannot do it uh, our own ministry, our own church, you know, me, mine and myself, Come on. those kind of thing. No, but it's where we connect. The kingdom of God is a net that's thrown out Absolutely. into the sea. And then and in the net, there's connections. So it's yes. divine connections, divine alignments. I believe part of this awakening mm. that's coming over the earth, it's coming over the body of Christ, yes. of believers, of ministries, yes. is where we step into our sonship. Because I Amen. believe the great awakening is part of sonship. Yes. Being manifested being revealed and yes. just just to take you to a, a scripture again mm -hmm. in romans 8 verse 14 for as many as are led by the spirit of the of god they are the sons of god Come so on. i believe in the awakening this awakening that we find ourselves in there's been awakenings you know in earlier years yes. but i believe this is the great awakening Come on. Uh, i believe this is a tsunami that's hitting earth yes. that's that's a proportion more than anything that has ever hit the yes. earth uh, and it's for the sons and the daughters of God to rise up yes. uh, and to step into their destinies, to Amen. step into their purposes. Mm -hmm. And just this one, verse 17, the last part of it, uh, it says, uh, actually verse 17, And if children, uh, if we are children and also heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with Him, that we may also be glorified together. Come on. And that word glorified in the Greek is actually the word doxa, which is the glory of God. Mm. And it's sun glory. It's the sun doxa. In other words, we are with Christ. We're sharing in His glory. Amen. So it's the glory of God. That's the awakening, I believe, that we yes. need to step into. Yes. Into His glory. Into yes. His manifestation. Into what He is doing in yes. and through our lives. It's never something that we can do on our own. Amen. But it's stepping into His glory yes. and let Him shine through us. Glory to and God. I believe if we can all just sense, and also in the nations, yes. also the ministries, the different fivefolds and the different uh, individuals with their callings, yes. That we need to step in together as sons and daughters of yes. God. And then I believe something great will manifest upon the earth what Amen. God wants to do. Glory to God. I believe that yeah. uh, I just want to take it the batter now and yes. run well, where, where you left off. Because Amen. I also just sense that the Lord is saying right now, He's busy speaking to men and women of God, Mark. Amen. I believe that if you were pastor, if you were yes. fivefold leader right now, God is speaking Amen. to you. See, Amen. I'm doing a new thing in the earth. Can Amen. you not perceive Amen. it? God's releasing a new wineskin and a new wine. You know, I believe prophetically, wineskin speaks about structure and mm. wine speaks about content. God yes. is restructuring the way we know ministry. Mm. You know, I understand the importance of a local church mandate, but God's mm. also beginning to align church yes. mandates for a kingdom mindset Amen. and a kingdom mandate in the earth in mm. this time. And you and I got to be sensitized that He's changing the wine skin. He's changing the structure. And the new wine is the manifestation of His glory that God wants to release in this time. Amen. You know, the Lord yes. gave me a vision and I began to see. Mm. I just yes, sense God. the glory you, of God on the set right now. I'm yes. 
yes. speaking to fivefold leaders God. specifically. Thank God you, saying to you, Rick, go of God. your old wine scheme. Mm. See, I am doing yeah, a new thing. Possess the new wine scheme. Be willing to shift from the anointing to the glory. Be willing to receive the mantle and the mandate of revival fire. I'm wanting to just shift out of a church program and I'm wanting to bring an awakening. I'm wanting to bring an awakening to the nation, say of the Lord. Uh, Germany and Stockholm. I'm seeing a great move of God coming to Germany and Stockholm. I'm seeing the heavens open up over Germany and Stockholm right now and I'm seeing fire, the glory and fire of God being released. I'm seeing a massive harvest of souls coming to Germany right now and God saying you need to let go of the old wine skin and in the old wine. I'm releasing a new wine skin. Be willing to shift. Be willing to change. Be willing to move because the greater glory, the latter glory is going to be greater than anything you knew before. What are you seeing? Yes, amen. I believe over Europe, over Africa, we will see the fires of God just being poured out. We will see ministries. We will see kingdom fivefold just rising up and stepping into their purpose and their destiny of what God has called them to do, their functions. There will be a clarity, I believe, of exactly what God wants them to do. There will be a clarity of divine alignments. There will be a clarity of divine strategy of the different strategies that God will bring in through His kingdom to lift and to glorify His kingdom kingdom to establish mm. his kingdom in different nations in different cities uh, i even see it over cities you know Come different on. mandates Release different it. strategies it was yes. just it was just um, it was just manifest glory. through the glory, glory of god this scripture came up and i want to speak it i want to declare it over people over nations yes. today Roman, uh, ephesians 5 14 wherefore he says awake thou that sleepest yes and arise yes. from the dead and christ shall give thee light it is the light of christ it is the illumination of christ's glory yes. through us that will manifest his glory Hallelujah. upon the earth that's the illumination yes. i believe also the word that you yes. received right in the beginning of this year yes. belinda is yes. the illumination the angel come of on. illumination come on that god is sending My for this god. mandate oh, in this in this time this season that we are in so i want to speak and declare over every one of you arise from the dead arise from dead works arise from dead circumstances into the glory of god into yes. the fire the light yes. that god is shining upon and through your life in Jesus name glory to God as he yes. said that I just saw three keys being dropped from heaven right now Thank you, the Lord. spirit of illumination Thank you, the Lord. spirit of wisdom yes. and the spirit of understanding yes, and God's God. releasing you, to you Father. revelation to understand yes. and unlock the secret things spoken yes. of in Daniel chapter 12 you, Father, God's God. releasing to you a spirit Jesus. of wisdom in mm. order to make the transition in order to make the shift and yes. God's releasing a spirit of counsel and mm. understanding mm. to you in this time and yes. even as he spoke about uh, you know dead things coming to life I I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, Decree Ezekiel yes. 37. Thank so you, I speak Thank to you, the Lord. church. I speak to Rise. every man and woman of God. I Awake. speak to the body of Christ all over the nations of the Amen. earth. And Arabaka I call Arabaka upon Arabaka. the winds of God right now. Arabaka Come, Arabaka wind. Come Arabaka. south wind. Thank Come you, east wind. Thank Come you, west wind. And I Arabaka release Arabaka the breath Sunday. of God right now. Right yes. now. I see, Thank you, Father. I see a tornado building and it's going right through this camera. You're going to experience the Ruach of God, the breath of God coming and blowing upon individuals, blowing upon ministries mm. blowing upon mm. nations there mm. we go there we go there yes. we go i'm Thank seeing you, i'm Thank seeing you, tornadoes being released all over africa Arabaka tornadoes Arabaka being released Arabaka. all over america yes, tornadoes yes, being released all over europe it's yes, tornadoes Lord. of glory yes, Lord. it's yes, the ruach Lord. of yes, god Lord. the breath of god the wind yes, of god hey, rab, 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 Arabaka, i'm telling you i'm just seeing we eat. there's even a glory angel on scene today so i believe god saying begin to decree miracles so i decree miracles upon you i command resurrection power upon every dead and dry situation i command every paralysis Spirit, you lose the people of God right yes. now. If you sick in your body, lay your hands right now. I sense the healing glory of God being released yes. from sick right now. Whatever it is, if you've got cancer, if you've got TB, if you've got HIV, I don't care what it is. I rebuke the spirit of infirmity and sickness over your life. And I decree and declare and prophesy, arise and be healed in the name of Jesus. What you say, Mark? Yes, I believe also that there are ministers who you've been working for the Lord for many years and you are laid back. You've maybe fallen fallen away but God wants you to to rise up because this is also a time of resurrection yes we we also celebrated Passover which means yeah 
celebration in the resurrection of Christ. Come so on. I believe also in ministries yes. to rise up again, that the fire of God will blow, will, will fall upon that ministry. The wind of the Spirit will blow into that ministry, into those fivefold yes. ministers. Yes. Rise up again. Take up the mantle. Take up the call because it, it can never go away. You can never outrun, outlive the call or the mantle of God upon your life unless you lay it down. But the call is today. Rise up. Yes. Awake from the sleep. Yes. Let the living Christ Christ Glory rise up in your life and shine through Glory your life again God. as yes. before. It doesn't matter what happened in your life. Yes. Jesus can come again yes. and He can lift you again yes. and He can elevate you again to the place where you need to live and operate from. Because God wants you. He needs you in the earth. He yes. needs you in the nation. I Amen. even sense that there are people who needed to go to different nations and who said, no yes. Lord, I don't want to go anymore. God come is on. calling you back to the nations. Yes. God is saying, yes, I've, got, I've released the mantle upon your life and I want you to rise up because your awakening will cause awakenings in in other people's lives, in other That's ministries. Awesome. You rise up, you wake up, you break through because your breakthrough will lead to the breakthroughs of other people. Just think about Joseph. He stepped up all the, all the way, yes. but he's stepping up and his breakthrough Amen. opened up the way for all the others to come. Glory Awaken, to arise in the name Rebbe of Jesus. Shando. Yes, I want to agree with Mark right now. Awaken nations, yes. awaken ministries, you, awaken man and woman of God. I Arabaka release the breath of God and the four winds Thank to you, blow Father. upon your life. And yes. I seeing in the nations of the earth right now a mighty army of God rising up in every yes, nation. Yes, I see God. Kenya, yes, I see God. Nigeria, Arabaka I see Australia, I see Rododododo yes, I'm seeing you, Iceland in the name and of Norway Jesus. right now. Sarah Man, Mokabaka nations Lama. that have not been that visible yeah, on the global platform. Mm. I see God just beginning to illuminate you, you illuminate you, you on the on the globe, yes. illuminate you. Yes. And I'm seeing tsunamis coming in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing tsunamis hitting every corner of the earth right now. Father, in Jesus' name, we release Lord. spiritual tsunamis, God, Arabaka to bring about a great awakening to the nations of Thank the earth you, in Father the mighty God. name of Jesus. Arabaka I also Arabaka sense that God's Arabaka wanting, Arabaka there's an angel. Arabaka. I'm seeing an angel Arabaka on set Arabaka right Arabaka. now, and the Thank angel you, is holding a huge scroll, yes. and God's saying, my people, in this time, I'm wanting Thank to release God. a new revelation, yes. the hidden things to you. Thank I'm you, pulling back the curtain Arabaka of Arabaka heavenly Arabaka. secrets Thank in the season, and I believe that nations, you're going to start seeing the manifest supernatural power and glory of God on a scale that the earth has Amen. never witnessed before Amen. in, the name, agree, in the name of Jesus. Well, I believe Thank that you, the Lord. power of God is Amen. so electrified. I'm so sorry <laughs> that we have to leave you. Yes. We're going to come back and we're going to do this Amen. again. This Amen. won't be the last show. I just sense that God is igniting something. Yes. Awaken nations. Amen. Awaken nations. Amen. Awaken nations. Yes. Uh, uh, from Thank me, you, Prophet Belinda, Pastor Mark in Cape Town, South I Africa. We love you. Connect with us, Prophetic Edge Inter International. I want to hear from you. God bless. Goodbye. Amen. Shalom. Hi everybody, I'm Prophet Belinda Spannenberg from Cape Town, South Africa, and you're watching Prophetic Edge. I'd just like to invite you uh, to partner with me in awakening nations, in bringing in the final harvest and releasing revival to the nations of the world. You know, I cannot um, complete my assignment without you. We at Prophetic Edge are really trusting God for additional people. The ministry is enlarging and growing and God has really stretched our ten curtains wide and we need more hands on deck. If you feel led by God, if you're positioned in Johannesburg, Pretoria or Cape Town and you feel an affinity and a drawing to this ministry, please let us know if you want to join the team. We also trust in God to raise up a thousand partners of intercessors and financial partners to help us take awakening to the nations of the world and bring in the final harvest before the return of Jesus Christ and I'd like to encourage you to partner with me you know that God places seed in your hand so that you can sow it into the soil of revival and when you plant and sow in the soil of revival you reap a harvest of revival in your finances so I want to encourage you to partner with me in intercession join our team become a financial partner and join this army in what God is wanting to do in the nations of the world. I also want to encourage you and welcome you. We've got some exciting things coming up. We've got a revival hub in Cape Town, South Africa, and also in Pretoria. Our next revival hub in Pretoria is the 22nd of April. And women of God from all over the nation of South Africa, I'm calling you to take up your positions for war. We have a women's conference called Debra's Arise, and I believe God is raising up a company of powerful women to take 
take their positions on the front line, come and receive fresh armor and be equipped for war. That's the 21st of April in Pretoria. I'm calling on the Debras to arise and be mantled for war. So we'd like you to join us. Then I'd also like to encourage you to be part of our boot camp. If you're in the Overberg or the Overstrand area, Hermanus, Horston or Cirrus, on the 27th, 28th and 29th of April, we're hosting a boot camp to raise and equip the army of God. Glory to God. And then finally, the cherry on top, the creme de la creme, is we are hosting an apostolic prophetic conference for fivefold leaders and people who are hungry for a move of God. We've got the Harvest Glory Apostolic Prophetic Conference uh, the 5th, the 6th, the 7th of October in Cape Town, South Africa. I'm calling you from all parts of this nation and the nations of the world. Myself and Dr. Joshua Fowler from Florida, USA are partnering. Our ministries are holding hands to bring awakening to South Africa and awakening to the nations of the world. We're going to have a fivefold apostolic ministry session we're going to be ministering to men and women of God we're going to be raising up an army and awakening the nations of the world so I'm calling you make plans diarize the 5th the 6th the 7th of October contact me prophetic edge international on Facebook or send us an email bookings at prophetic edge int.com God bless you I just like to take an opportunity to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to my partners E888, which is a boutique with elegant clothing, the best in South Africa. You've got to connect with them on their Facebook Esther page on Facebook. Also, I'd like to thank the Singer Group, uh, the Coliseum Hotel, Dolphin Beach Hotel in Cape Town and Watercrest Conference Center in Pretoria. You guys need to connect with these places. They've really got luxury accommodation, the best event coordination for your upcoming event. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Bless you.